think we're going down to the back cave. It's me. Episode one. Episode two of this series of the Realm of Shadows. Yeah, the episodes are just too big to hit all in the one video. This good cave is red. Let's take a quick look around the back cave though. I always like exploring the back cave in games. Like, um, I know Arkham Origins gets a lot of hate, but at least you could explore the back cave. You didn't get that in any of the other three. Uh, Asylum had that lame little wannabe back cave. Can't even remember what city had. Uh, I guess the GCPD was kind of his hideout, but not, at the same time, not really. I don't think he really had a place to go back to if he needed to do something. Um, and then Knight had the movie studio, which was a cool place. But it's just not the Batcave. Yeah, and then Origins had it, and it was a cool fight. Uh, it was not a fight, but like being attacks the Batcave. You go back and save Alfred. Um, and then even even with Lego games, I don't think you could explore it in the first one. You could in the second one, and actually in the 3DS version, <laughs> you could only be in the Batcave after levels. There was no open world. Uh, which is funny, because actually, there was an open world Lego game that came out the year after. Uh, and then Batman's three that was all oh that had an explorable back cave too which which is completely different from the other one um it was cool uh what about i don't think dc villains has one i might be wrong um yeah now we got this one this one's a cool back cave to explore uh, let's take a look at our gadgets He's a spare drop again, because Catwoman took the other one. These are smoke pellets. Wow, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. These are batterings. I like the look of these batterings. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. I don't like the holes in them. But it's probably it's something for aerodynamics. A jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. And when he was presented with all the idea. Take a look at what else we have here. Gotham Key, that's the database here. We need to get some of parents died. Here's a pile. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Is that everything? Oh, here's the suit. 
My suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Cops shot at him. Even though Gordon told them not to. Uh, can we go down here? <gasps> we can! I didn't try this the, any of the other times I was playing. Alright, we'll go to the back and we'll be a last, unless it's the only thing. It might be the only thing here. You know, I can't go any further this way. Alright, let's go look at the Batmobile. I like this Batmobile. I kind of like how it transforms from the sports car into the uh, Batmobile. It's like the uh, Incredibles. Incredibile. I kind of like how the new Batmobile is. It, it's like a, it's kind of like the muscle car into a Batmobile, but it's like a mix of the two. Um, it's a nice mix. Um, this one's really sleek though. It's kind of like the uh, DCEU one. That one's... I like that one. Uh, not a big fan of the Tumblr, but I like most of the other ones. All the other movie ones. Oh yeah, and it kind of even has a mix of that uh, 66 one. With the fact that it's partially a normal car. Nice. Alright, let's retrieve the data drive. Fifteen. We need better security. What is Gotham for you? Oh, this is like website. Mm, Gun's gonna need a task force. Codex. We need that here. Uh, parents. Alfred. Then, I don't know who this is. Looks like comic art. Hamilton Hill. Catwoman. Uh, Oswald. Gord. Mickey. Falcone. It's going to be Gotham. Lane Manor. Lane Tower. No, it's Gotham. It's... Alright, uh... There we go. I like how the chair just comes out of the I don't know why the chair isn't there all the time. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Alright, so... I can't remember what we have to do here. a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things money weapons drugs everything flows through that port maybe it's where mayor hill picks up his dry cleaning hmm. can't make sense of it yet 
There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Yeah, he did. Found her. Crime was burglary, petty larceny. New criminal on the scene tried to try. What? Tied to several break in recent break ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Other people. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't <laughs> step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. <laughs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I saw Oz. In what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet. <laughs> I worry what he's to Cobblepot used to be close. I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Cobblepot Park. Why so early in the morning? Alright. Where are you, Wazos? Mm-hmm. 
Great. There's the statue, but no eyes. I guess we'll go hang out by the statue. I hope nothing bad happens to us. Graffiti is there. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Watch, Watch wallet wall cash. cash. But this is goes through you. Yeah? We'll see about that. Hey, you heard it, man. What the hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. Next one? Kills you! End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep you see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. The moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Ow. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh. Oh. Poor guy. This is my park. Combat in this game isn't especially fun to play, but it's fun to watch. You got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaken. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been one. Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now, it's... Oh, hell! Last thing my parents ever built. This city chews right through people. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, you did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, it's funny huh? huh? Same, Same place, place that ground my family to dust. Gave, gave you a good you life. life. Used to run, run in the same circles, circles we did. Hobnob and parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, guys. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Thanks Bruce. Bruce. But, but we are we not the, are only, the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still you care, still about, care about, about something more than just, just yourself. yourself. Although, I was, I was surprised, surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone 
made a stack of cash in corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... <laughs> his jacket, the bottom of his jacket just popped in. Sorry mate, this reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction. You break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Lars. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. I will do that. Good seeing you, Bruce, but... I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. In the Batmobile. It's cool that it changes color too. Unless I'm completely Wayne, wrong unless there's right the same car. It has the same shape though. So Bruce, Bruce. Good morning everyone. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy does she have charm. We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. We're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm a... Uh, 
sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? <laughs> he cut him off. You there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospitals, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. That's not good. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. That's not good. Hey, 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 careful. careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. Hopefully we can do our job and be out of here ASAP. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. It's a valid warrant. I got a server. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. You broke something. Oh, it's a picture of his family, isn't it?
Bruce? Bruce? I, I, didn't I didn't mean, mean to, interrupt, to interrupt, but... I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had, and never will have, connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's... The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. <laughs> it's 
Selena. You didn't tell me you were bringing him. a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss. Kyle. It's funny because the. Uh, it's a strong grip you've got there. Travis Willingham, Laura Bailey. Don't worry. Like these I'm two characters were married in real life. Oh, right. sorry. sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. <laughs> well, you stole some of his stuff. Alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure well, hope whatever you took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now, whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work. People tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. to make the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time the man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that weapon. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. <laughs> Better hurry. 
Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> All right. Gotham Docks Warehouse 133. Don't screw it up. I think we're going to uh, wait until tomorrow to see if Bruce screws it up or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.